I'm for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make obono soup. There are so many ways you can make obono soup, but in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make obono soup with dry fish. So here are the ingredients. So if you're not new to this channel, you will know by now that there is no soup without shaki on this channel except in salad soup. So here are the ingredients. I have my beef and shaki already washed. I also have dry fish, stock fish, pre-cooked pomo. I have seasoning cubes, obono, blended obono. I have chopped onions fresh pepper and crayfish so all these are the ingredients that i'll be using to make the soup i'll also be using palm oil but i didn't show it here so now that i've shown you all the ingredients let's start making the soup so i'll start by cooking the meat and i'll cook that with just salt seasoning cubes and chopped onions after adding all these ingredients i'll put it on heat and then start prepping the rest of the ingredients I've also washed and deboned the dry fish and did the same to the stock fish and I've gotten it ready for the soup. So what I'll do next is to cut the pomo into bit sizes. So the, I allow the meat to cook for some time but it is not properly cooked, it is still strong. So what I will do now is to add the rest of the ingredients so that I can get the soup stock ready. So I will add the dry fish, the stock fish, the bomo that I cut into bit sizes and after that I will add seasoning cubes, salt, I also crushed my crayfish with mortar and I will add that also, I will add fresh pepper. Just basically all the ingredients so that I can get the soup stock ready and when you're adding water to this make sure you add water that will cover it so that the dry fish and the stock fish cooks properly and I'll be adding little salt to this not too much remember that all, all these ingredients already are tasty so you be careful when you're adding salt to this kind of soup so when you're adding salt to your soup be very very mindful of the quantity of salt you're putting especially when you have already enough ingredients that will make the soup tasty so now that i've added enough water into the pot of soup i'll cover it and put on heat so our soup stock has been cooking for more than 30 minutes now and everything is well cooked now the meat is tender the dry fish is tender also so it's time to mix obono into the soup but before mixing the obono into the soup i'll fry it for some minutes before mixing it into the soup so in a pan i'll pour in oil allow the oil to heat up add some onions into the oil allow the onions to fry for like a minute and after that i'll mix in the obono and fry just fry it for like maybe two minutes and after that it will be ready to mix into the soup this is also a good way to melt the obono especially if you store the obono in the freezer if you pour it into the soup like that it will not turn out so good so when you put it into the hot oil it melts it and the soup you will not be having clots of obono in the soup So I'll add the obono into the boiling soup stock now. So 
So I'll cover the pot and allow it to cook for like 5 more minutes. So after some minutes, I checked on the soup and it was ready. So guys, this soup looks so good and it does not just look so good, it tastes so good. I tasted the soup for salt and it was perfect, it did not need salt, it did not need any other additional ingredient, it was just perfect. Make sure you try this soup at home and if you've not subscribed to this channel, please what are you waiting for? Subscribe, like the video and when you subscribe, please put on the notification bell so whenever I have a new video, you get notified and you can come and watch the new video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!